And welcome, Icy Shim in the hangar. You read the title. Goggles 3 is the topic of today's video. I was really looking forward to buy the Goggles 3 after my Avatar 2 review, like a few months ago in April or something like this. Because this is the first of the newer goggles that has a nice fit for me. I didn't like the Goggles 2 too pricey and too, too close to the eyes. And I also sent back the goggles Integra because I didn't like the small field of view and also not the fit. But the goggles 3, besides of this weird battery pouch <laughs> back there, the goggles 3 have a really nice fit on your forehead uh, and have good OLED screens and everything's nice, except for, and I was hoping that this is done by the time that I will receive my unit, Except for the issues that now the DJI O3 air units have with goggles 3. So, like a few weeks or months back, DJI finally released a firmware update so that the goggles 3 can not only be used with like Air 3s and Avatars and their own uh, crafts, but also with something like the O3 air units on our self built copters, which would in theory be the reason for all of us to buy those, especially now that they are available at good prices. For example, I paid 550 euros at Flywu for these. For a short time they were at 300 something on Amazon, but I think it was a scam. But anyways, I got them and I read to this nasty thread on the DJI forums where also Medstech, hello Ian, is active. And apparently after now 40 days ongoing troubleshooting of the whole community. DJI couldn't come up with a fix to the issue that once you lose connection, whatever the reason might be, it will not get connection back if you get in a better range situation. So for example, if you fly further away behind a tree or even a hill, of course video drops out. But then most of our copters go into failsafe or you can trigger failsafe, then it descends, flies back and as soon as it comes within range you normally would see the video coming back and you can fly normally. But not in this case because the bug seems to be that the goggles only can establish or re-establish a video connection with the O3 air unit if the copter is in disarmed state. So what means disarmed? If you fly this, you know what it means. Uh, the beta flight connection to the O3 tells the O3 if the copter is flying or not, if the motors are active, armed or not. This also helps save power and keep the air units cooler because if they are disarmed, they transmit way less RF power and yeah, that's a good thing. But for some reason, when only when this is disarmed, it connects to the goggles, which is okay because yeah, it's disarmed, I connect to it then I can fly. But if I fly away and get a bad signal and I just test this, it will not get the signal back. And there's also an even easier way to test this and there are links in my description of course um, you can power on the copter arm it have it like without props on your bench arm it and then turn on the goggles and you will see you will never ever get a connection to your air unit because it's not in the disarm state anymore in the second where you disarm your copter the goggles will connect so that's a really weird issue and I cannot, I mean, obviously DJI knows of this and they responded a few times, but not in a very good manner. Uh, Ian Medstack, thanks a lot for your extensive open letter to DJI. I think they have enough pressure now, but in the meantime, a lot of the guys that I read in the forums have lost their pressure squads or at least damaged them. And in the worst case, this could also lead to injuries to us FPV pilots crashing into traffic or into other people and causing harm. And it's all because of this simple issue. This cannot be what DJI is aiming to be out there. Because normally, and 
I can say this with a lot of confidence using their products. With my goggles version 2, I fly long range. It's so reliable. It's really good. Good video. And I don't regret it yet because the goggles 3 are smaller and yeah, have the nicer screens. But uh, at the moment I only fly with the goggles version 2 with my O3 Air units and not with the goggles 3. I hope this changes soon because otherwise a lot of us guys will be very very upset with DJI. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, sorry that I couldn't give you a fix or a good tip how to work around this. I mean one work around is one guy disabled the TX cable so the whole arm disarm situation never reaches the air unit. Then it works, the reconnect works because it's always in a disarm state from, from the jazz perspective, but it will never get to full RF power and that's not the way we want to fly these things either. Oh, this is really, it's really bugging me. I read a lot of posts today and I came to no good conclusion. Uh, just for the records, all that I read there is found in this link that I put in the description below and also the firmware, the Google 3 firmware is 104 is the most current and the O3 Air Unit firmware is 1030 which is yeah, the one that you need on your O3 Air Unit to bind to the Google 3. Yeah, and about binding to the Google 3, I didn't know this, I had to look this up. There's no bind button anymore in the Google 3, it's just long pressing the power button to go into bind mode and then press the button on the air unit. But it all helps nothing if this is such an unreliable link. We don't want to fly with unreliable links. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Leave your comments if you if leave your comments down below if there's already a fix that I maybe not have seen but I don't think though. So. Let me know if you already had a crash. I hope not and if so i hope that yeah, gps could have at least flown you back yeah i hope that nobody gets injured by this stupid shit <laughs> in the meantime don't fly with google 3 but yeah also Matt stack told you this like one or two weeks ago thanks a lot for watching see you next time with hopefully better news or with a cooler video <laughs> bye bye